guys it's exactly 12 35 we see a special good afternoon to everyone i have some bacchanal in the kitchen lulu in collaboration with mr sarah lulu making a cuckoo and i go and do some stew fish outside the weather is overcast it's a bit windy lance is somewhere outside there stretching his legs meditating all right i can hear him now talking to auntie angie all right and i am about to cut up some fish so stay tuned guys according to my boy outdoors bushman and let's get on with it so i found this brick outside i wasn't able to purchase a sharpening stone as yet so let me give this knife a little edge time to cut up all right so get this tail off I'll right, this big fin, bottom fin, let's slice. This fish has been soaking in a little vinegar, all right? It didn't have any lines, right? And I just giving it a second rinse. Remember, don't rough up the fish. You know why mash it up. And we're ready to season. Nice and thin. Alright, so we have the onions, and this will come in handy throughout the rest of my cooking. So, mommy is pre prepping for her cuckoo, and she has 10 okros here. Lulu! Yeah, man, Lulu! I, will, I asked you up front, in this cuckoo, it have any baking powder? No! <laughs> yes, yeah, same person and no trouble. At no all. trouble, all right. Nice. A lot of people able to cut these things on a board with a Chinese chopper, but I don't know if it's being left handed. I use my fingers and I chip, and I think I do a pretty neat job of chipping. Some pimentos. You want a couple? Yeah. How much you want? About three. About three? Alright. So guys, we are just prepping in the meanwhile. Alright, mommy's going to need some pimentos. So will I. So I break down some pimentos here. She has already broken down the okros and working fervently on those carrots. Hold on, left hand walking there, you. Good. Yeah, find a go around the hey, that left hand is walk just like that too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I you know, if I say that, I really don't want to. Yeah, no, 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 but no. But no. you say it, what no, I'm talking about the, uh, <laughs> the, the left burner, the left burner, yes. The left front burner, your hand working like that. Okay. Right? So, how many pimentos do you want? Yeah. How about three or four? Yeah. Let me one, get your four. One extra for the pot. Nice. All right, All right. Yes, thank you. All right. Pimentos. Some oil heated in with the pimentos, in with the carrots, and in with the okros. All right, ten okros, one carrot, four pimentos. All right, baby. Lulu, Lulu, it's smelling good. <laughs> what is this here? Oh, that that baby This is Himalayan pink salt. They said it's the better salt to use. All right, so in with some Himalayan salt. Pepper to taste and continue to saute. Vegetables have been sorted and now she's gonna add the water. Mm. Mm. Smelling good. The idea Boss. is that when this um, okra start to cook, it's gonna get slimy. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to hold the cuckoo together. Right. If you don't put, if you forget the okra, you're not going to get cuckoo, you're going to get dumpling. Right. <laughs> right. Nice, nice, nice. Right, so guys, see how they're looking there? Okay, now the next process is, I'm going to add the coconut milk. So we have one cup of water here. And we are melt, melting the coconut milk powder. And you use one whole pack, right? 
One whole pack. One whole pack. So one cup of water. Right, and guys, remember, room temperature water. Okay, so let me just add a cup of that. So now you see that everything is pulling together. We're gonna add this coconut milk powder and you get it to boil. Mm, look good, boy. Really, really good. There are two ways you can do cuckoo. In the beginning, I would just, when the water start boiling, you will add your promasa to, to the pot and you'll be stirring with your hand going crazy because the idea is you don't want any lumps. But our daughter Liba told us that in Venezuela, which is the home for Pomasa, corn, making anything with corn is Venezuela. That what they actually do is you melt the, the Pomasa first in a basin. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna add your water to the basin. Right? You're going to add salt so that your pomasa, when it's cooked, maybe you'll be able to taste your salt. So you're gonna add your salt to the water, to here. Too much. Okay, and now what we're going to do now is actually melt this. Now, this is going to be two cups of promasa here. Is that how much you're going to prepare, or more than two cups? Um, I, I'll do more than two cups based on how much water you have in there. So you just get this going. So when time to receive the, the promasa, it will be boiling temperature enough to start cooking it. Right. Right? Okay. So now you melt your, 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 your salt here in the water and you're going to be actually working in the promasa, melting it as you go along. Hmm. See? So when hmm. that cuckoo come out, it is very soft and succulent. Right. So now, I think we will do a little more because you never know who, might, who name might be in the pot. <laughs> so we're gonna add some more water. Wow, look at how much that's come up today, boy. So we will go with probably, and this, this is a two cup, two cups, yes. Yeah. So we will go, go with another cup. Okay, so basically you're, you're adding moisture to the to yes. the cornmeal here. I you're mean. rehydrating it so that this will prevent the lumping up That's when right. you throw it into the hot water. That's right. All right. Yeah. So we just wanna be sure when we pour it in that it is um All right. so guys this is a boy now we here, all right, and in the meanwhile she's finishing work that in, right? Hydrating the cornmeal. All right, so when it goes into there, we're not going to run into any lumps. Okay, now what I will do, just to be on the very safe side, I'll take out some of this water, some of this liquid here, to add in case it, it needs more. Right. Right, and now what we're going to do now is actually pouring this in and stirring vigorously but of course everything is already melted 
so that you don't need to worry about it lumping up against you. Yeah, we come inside. All right, so guys, I can see already that it's coming in. Yeah. It's coming in really nice. It is, and it's really not lumping up at all. No, it's smooth. It is. Smooth. If you had put that in dry, mm -hmm. you will, your hand will be going at 200 miles an hour. Right, right, right. And you will still get some lumps in the cookie. Right. You better help it turn or you're good? Well, if you could do that, I'll be good. Right. Because I will just add this thing. So you add that back there? Mm hmm Oh, you ain't wasting, you ain't wasting none of the mixture. Yeah. Okay. okay, so you just turn your bigger Just keep turning here? Yeah. All right. So guys, the instruction is to keep turning. All right, and I would not be editing this footage so that all you will be getting it live. All right, there's a little liquid to the top, it's a very heavy mixture indeed. You buy me something, uh, um, like when you're doing parasad, and she's preparing a dish to receive the cuckoo. Right, so if you are a one man team, make sure and have that dish ready all right so this is the preparation for the dish so i'm just greasing this dish so the cuckoo is not going to stick so when you have to serve it you know it's going just going to leave the dish shall i bring this here? guys make sure and have your towels handy or your mittens to handle the pot because we will be needing it soon all right so we have it close by and mommy, you better take over here because I don't know what you're looking for. In this, I have never made this. Never made this? No, I see it made already, but I have never made this. So, you're gonna put it on a lower fire now. On a low heat. Alright. And I'm gonna bring my dish close enough so that I don't have to, to lift the pot up. Alright. So what you're looking for at this point? I'm looking for it leaving the ends of the pot. The ends of the pot here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now to know if your cuckoo is ready, you, when you stir in, you'll see it leaving the pot and some might be even sticking because it's already coming in. The bottom of the pot too starts drying, as you'll see. So you know your cuckoo ready to come but as i say you don't want to take it out too soon because you want to be able to cut your cuckoo in slices right so we will leave it a little longer now the wonderful thing about cuckoo is that when you have this for lunch you may not use oil so you just put it in the fridge and this afternoon, you slice the cuckoo, you put a little frying pan on the fire, put a little butter, and you, you put your cuckoo slices in. You flip it on the other side, and you just grate some cheese, and you can have that for your dinner. Nice. Even if you leave it for the next day. Well, we got to try that. Yes. Yes? Because you can even have it for breakfast. Okay, so Shana, I think... So guys... The cuckoo has reached where we want it and we are transferring it from the pot into the greased dish. Smells amazing. Can't wait to dive into this meal, people. Mm. So one layer has been added and now she's about to spread some butter. Which will neaten it up. It will neaten it up and it will definitely enhance our taste. Right, so midway into your bite, you're gonna be hitting some nice buttered flavor. Mm, I can smell the butter. Right? This is margarine, eh? 
Okay, and it is recommended that we use real butter, all right? Yeah. So definitely we will be getting some Kerrygold butter, people. Yeah. Come on. Right, and we have added the butter and now for the top layer. So sandwiched between those two layers is a little film of butter. Let's get this fish seasoned up quickly. All right, all right, this is two small carrots, so we're looking at about six spoons of our grind seasoning. All right, do chinks on your seasoning. This is the flavor of food, mentos, inside with some onions. And I like to add my little seasoning. I wish it was the Creole brown seasoning, salt to taste, black pepper. And now we're just smoothing it off on the top using butter ginger ginger is creating fish and mix be careful right remember it's fish you're dealing with mmm it smells good if it smells good at this point it is going to finish good guys what is happening with the sip is that it is making pots here sticky here that when you hear you go to fry things yeah that fill my oil you don't have to study to make these pots look shiny the more these pots get fry and get black is the sweeter yeah. it is cooked Okay. Right. Put it so back. Let's put this on this side here. Right. Oh, that fish looked yummy. Right. So, guys, the fish is seasoned up. We have some onions. We have some pimentos. We have the green seasonings. Mommy, let me see how that cook looking. Ooh. Nice and smooth. Really good. And I could tell it already starting to pull together. So, it will slice really nice. Yes. Good job, Mommy. Boss man. And I hope it will taste good. It will taste good. I see what went into it, and I know it's going to taste good. Great. For sure. All right, so people, let me let this fish soak just for a little 10 minutes, and we're going to stew this fish. Have some tomatoes to break down. I'll work on that in the meanwhile. So, tomatoes have been washed, okros washed, and destemmed. Let's break these goods down. Break down the okros. Knife is nice and sharp. So guys, make sure you have everything ready for this, all right? We have the grind seasoning, some tomato ketchup. We have our okros. We have pimentos, onions, tomatoes, oil, salt. Make sure everything is within reach. And over here we have flour and some breadcrumbs. Pot is heating up nicely. Let's go. Some oil. We not fry any fish before we put it into the stew, right? So I learned something from Ermin, and what we're going to do is add some flour to this here, and that's going to create a nice thick base for us. Let's go. Ted, add some flour. And we're looking to get a toasty looking color here. I am going to try something. I'm adding a little breadcrumbs. And in with as many onions as you desire. I think that's enough. All these pimentos. Right. In with the tomatoes. And I have my hot water in the background hotting up. So don't forget, try to have your water heated. And in with all these okros. Stir. 
salt, black pepper, It was not fully heated, so we add to the sides. So, I want to send a big, big shout out to my girl Hanifa. All right, Hanifa, and now we're not through the seasoning inside of here, right? So, big up to Hanifa. Oh gosh, that's my girl. So, we're going, people. All right, in with some of that fine time that I had soaking in the seasoning. Mm hmm we're going real good here people trying with two spoons of that green seasoning and ketchup is the base of our sauce all right i expecting some guests so we need enough sauce mm -hmm. squeeze it and squeezy 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 Smells amazing, guys. Um, hot water. We put in enough one time to receive the amount of fish. And once again, leave until it comes out, boy. Guys, look at this sauce. This is the time to adjust your salt, black pepper. If you want to add in a piece of golden ray, all up to you. If you want some more gravy, add your water, adjust back your salt, and let's get some fish slices inside of there. Going good. So a nice pot of fish skew. And give this just a gentle stir. Nothing much. Nothing much. Give this to simmer for about five minutes, and we will be good. Simmer. So guys, remember, you could add whatever you want to your stew. Sweet peppers, corns, right? Once you think it'll pair well with the fish, you're good to go. And just give a gentle turn. Try to get between the fish slices, right? You're just making sure that we don't have any sticking at the bottom all we want to make sure is that this fish is well cooked and that it has lego some flavor into this nice rich caribbean sauce wow smells amazing guys at this point if you wish you could squeeze some lime juice in there or just cut up some lime and if people wish they could add it to the meal all right i don't have any so generally a piece of fish cooking in this method such as boiling right will only take about 10 minutes this sauce is excellent it has enough salt black pepper seasonings and i have sufficient sauce for the amount of people that have to eat so it's time to take the stove off just let that reduce with the remaining heat from the element and it's time to serve here is our cuckoo here is our stew fish I finish this meal exactly at 2.50 and it's time to eat. Mommy! Daddy! Come and eat! Dress up for church one time, what? No, I dress up to come and eat this meal. All right, well, I'm glad to hear that because I ain't eaten yet, so all it will be taste testing. That's right. I have wanted to wear this shirt for the longest while. So I decided that uh, since you guys have, you know, 
being diligent in producing something as fantastic, tasty, admirable as this, I decided to look as formal as I can. Well, you do. I do. You do. I want to thank you for this, man. Yes, man. Mrs. Bertis, <laughs> please present yourself. I thank you, Sana, for your you're welcome. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome, man. Okay, Luis. I pull the chair for you, as a gentleman should. Thank right. you. You want to sit down? I first have to cut the cuckoo. Oh, see. Okay. Do you want to stick the cake? No. <laughs> stick the cuckoo. Okay, so here we go. Okay, fellas. See that? Mm hmm. Look at that. Smooth. Yes. It's really sumptuous. And Lance likes it teal. Right, that's more than enough, thanks. And mm. some gravy. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Thank you, Mom. That's, that's so thank you, thank you. So guys, look at this plate of food. Nancy, cleaning up for the presentation. Of course. Yes, it's yes. It's in my plate, you know. Yes, well done, Daddy. Yes, my dear friend. <laughs> you know, we really trying to add so much to the channels. Yes. I appreciate it. You're welcome, man. Yes. You're welcome. We deserve it. And, and I will leave that beautiful presentation um, that you did there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Lance is going to be the taster now? Both of you all. Mm -hmm. I would not be eating as yet. I am expecting that our guests may pass through. So, mommy and daddy will be doing the tasters today. All right? And we gonna have some fun. Flip camera. Let me see you play there, mommy. Let me see how you're looking there, girl. Yay! Mm -hmm. You're looking boss. All right. You, you compliment my cuckoo with your stew fish lasagna. Well, I'm so glad to be complimenting on this side. Man. Yes. So the meal is going to be blessed and they're going to dive into it. All right. There's some matux pepper sauce there and we have a piece of lime in the fridge so if they want they could squeeze some lime on top of it yes. right that? yes i that? did flip camera yes yes you want some lime i don't feel you'll need it but if you want it let me know no well if, if you put some in the fish no okay so the, the texture the smoothness right Mmm. -hmm. Smooth like butter. Nice. And the fish, delicious. The gravy. I love plenty of gravy with cuckoo. Well, we have a whole pot of it. Yeah. Yes. So, so this is what we're talking Thank about. Thank you very much. Nice. Lance. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Lazara. You're welcome, Daddy. Let's share your verdict. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Delicious. Just like Ma used to make it. I can make smooth cocoa so that's it. Mm -hmm. Great man, of course she was a great cook. Mm -hmm. You look special. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I feel I'm somewhere in some fanciful hilton or something. Higher they call it nowadays. <laughs> mm. Well, enjoy the meal. All the one down, pepper sauce. I love her. And this food is so delicious. This gravy it is. doesn't need The any. gravy is marvelous. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Benefits of having good cooks in a house, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, long ago, 
people taught their children from very early to cook. Like you would hear people over 70 tell you they're cooking since they're 9 and 10 years old. Right. You know, I think there was wisdom in that because there are a lot of young young people now in their 20s who will tell you they cannot cook. Mm-hmm. And it's not like their fault. Hmm. It's just the change of life. Mm. We have had a 360 degree turn around of mm. the way of life in you know? mm-hmm. Because young people know they eat out a lot. Mm. And that is something that started a, you know, 40 years ago. Sure. Or 30 years ago. Children go to the mall. I remember Thank Lyndon. You, I'll be cooking on a Saturday. And as you finish cooking, I'll tell you go to the mall. <laughs> Would you like me to make some for you? No, no, I'm good. You want a napkin, is it? Uh, yeah, that is great. Thank you very much. Good service here, man. It was more appealing. It was more appealing to go to the mall and buy mall food than to eat home cooked food. So young people not so much on to cook food at home. Mm-hmm. But I would say being able to cook is a wonderful asset. Mm-hmm. Regardless, regardless of how qualified you are and how what what a professional you'll be, being able to cook is something that is an addition to family life. Somebody said um, I was watching Sandy's cup of tea, mm-hmm. where she met with Sandy Backyard's Kitchen. That's okay. a lady from Guyana. Okay. And she was saying something which is true that food brings families together. Mm-hmm. Yes? Yes. Definitely. So big up to um, Sandy's back, Backyard um, Kitchen. She and Tommy. All right. And big up to Sandy's cup of tea. Big up to. Is it Roti Box Shop? Yes. Mm-hmm. These are people from Guyana. Right, so Sandy's Backyard Kitchen is from Guyana. Mm-hmm. So they have right? eaten plates? And no. But the people that hosted the event. Okay. Yes. Some trainees that have a roti shop mm-hmm. in the States. Mm-hmm. Yes. So they hosted the event. Okay, okay. That's yes. good, man. Really nice. It's beautiful how Caribbean people abroad find each other and bond them. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And they're still doing a great example to foreigners, you know. Mm-hmm, of course. When we went came in and we went to sing Roti Shop. Boy, you will love the clientele that pass through there. Wait, a Roti Shop in Cayman? Yeah, called um, Sing Roti Shop. Serious? Selling doubles too. Mm-hmm. Did you um, find out what area they're from? No, I wasn't able to see anybody who would have you know, right. something with. Hold on, let me get a piece of paper inside, continue engaging, mm-hmm. right? Because I wrote it down. Isn't it down there? So I look. Check down there. You yeah, that's it, eh? Mm-hmm. This cuckoo is really very smooth. And I must admit that it's the first time I've added coconut milk powder to the cookie, cuckoo. And it definitely has enhanced the flavor. Mm-hmm. Would you agree with that, Hans? Well, I'm not, I'm not a, an expert at cooking, but I have to tell you, it's a this is fun. great. Mm-hmm. This is really great. So I want to send a big, big shout out to Curry Roti Box. All right, they recently hosted an event for Sandy and Tommy. We are talking about Sandy's backyard kitchen. All right, so big shout out to Sandy. Big shout out to Tommy. All right, and you know I really enjoyed. Um, she made us such a beautiful speech. 
you know she said that she was feeling nervous at first but as she walked through the kitchen she began to feel so comfortable she felt in love all right so big up to sandy big up to tommy and once again big up to sandy's cup of tea big up to mike all right and yes we just loving what you guys doing over there all right so big up all yourself very good can, can you help me a little more gravy please yeah man sure thank you Yes, the um, okros and tomatoes thicken it nicely like that. Mm -hmm. Delicious, man. Really good. Mm -hmm. I cook enough because my boy Michael, my pastor, mm -hmm. yes. But you all can help all yourself as much as all you want. Thank you, sure. right? Thank you. And cook enough. Yes. You want to do a nice taste just like how I do it? So people, we're gonna get the Mark Wayne's from Daddy here. Alright? Let me see how good he is. So he has some cuckoo there and going in. <laughs> That's what we're talking about, man. Yeah, man. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Perfecto, senor. Yeah. Mmm. So, senor. Mmm. Lulu and um, Lulu and, and Lasana make a good combination there. Eh? Mmm. 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 That's what we talk about. Mmm. Savor the taste. Mm -hmm. Yes. Try to dissect the flavors. This flavor mm -hmm. is awesome. Mm -hmm. What do you really like about it? I love everything about it, boy. I love the smoothness of the cuckoo. The gravy is excellent. Mm -hmm. I could close my eye and eat this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the sauciness. It's the saucy sassy. Yeah, <laughs> the saucy sassy. Yes. Mm. So mm, mm. Excellent. 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 <laughs> mm, mm. Life can't get better than this. <laughs> Pick up the ARD. What you gonna say? Life can't get better than this. Only, always watch ARD. Yeah. Yeah. So big up to ARD, big up to all the YouTubers in Guyana. Yeah. All the red on the top. Life can't get better than this. Mm -hmm. That what you can say? Yeah, life can't get better than this. Life can't get better than this. Alright, so people, this is the end of our little segment. We hope that you really, really enjoyed it. We hope that you learned something. Alright. I am not able as yet to be able to put in the description, you know, ingredients, that kind of thing. I am overwhelmed all right so people hope all enjoy it yes thank you thank you all right so this is the buddies family saying goodbye until tomorrow please god all right thank see you all enjoy. nice we got fry some fish in the morning <laughs> <laughs>